What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I'm in Georgia. We're gonna go buy some pallets. So we're going to an auction today where they sell pallets. If you're new to this channel, I've done a few of these videos in the past. Um, they sell pallets of merchandise, starting bid of 25 bucks. And you'd be surprised how many I'm gonna get, or I usually get for 25 bucks. So we're gonna buy this. I've got a semi truck on their way down here. They're gonna be here at two o'clock day of the auction. And I'm gonna buy enough to hopefully fill it up. And hopefully to not have any left over. It won't fit. We were really close last time. Um, so we're gonna ship it up to Wisconsin and then we're gonna go through it and sell it off on eBay, in our local auction, on in our warehouse sale, all sorts of different places. So follow along and see if we can find some good stuff. I am all over these. They're already pre-hung and everything. So I've got a semi-truck scheduled for two o'clock today. He's already here. He's gonna be waiting for a while. It's like 9.30, but I may be sending another truck here. It's a lot of really good stuff this time. So I talked to the auctioneer. He said that next Wednesday we can load out a second semi truck, which is nice. So it's not gonna be last minute with the high surcharge. So I might be buying two trucks worth. We'll play it by year. Should I get this for the warehouse? I feel like that would be fun. We will do like we always do. We start with pallet number one, go to pallet number two, three, four, and so on. Go down this aisle, come back, we'll go outside, we've got about a hundred. Go back outside, we'll come back in. When we get around that pole right there, college, you're welcome to dig around in them all you want to right now. Just don't spread them out on the floor or tear our tickets off. But as soon as we sell them, please leave them exactly where they are. Do not touch them. Anybody got any questions? Yeah, can we have an auction? Uh, would you like to have one auction? Well, let's do that. Uh, hey, y'all. You got four and four and a half, now five. Five hundred, now five and a half. I got five minutes. Anybody get 125? $100, number 17. Got it, number 17. Five. $150, number 17. 150, got 125, 50, 50, 50. Anybody get 150? 125, number 17. Number 17. Now one. 75, now one. Got 75. Got 75. Now 100. Now 125. Now 150. 175. Now 150. Now 75. Anybody get 175? $150. Quite a little bit of everything. I got 25. 50, 75, now 100, Four hundred, four twenty-five, four fifty, four seventy-five, five hundred. 
Got five twenty-five now, fifty. Five twenty-five, number seventeen, guys. Number seventeen. Seventy-five. I got the lady at fifty. Seventy-five. Now one hundred over here. Now one twenty-five. All right, so I bought 56 pallets for $10,670. We're going to go through. I'm going to show you what we, what we got. Actually, it was 57 pallets. One was a two-pallet deal. All right, we'll start right here. I paid 100 bucks. There are 40 of these kid craft toys. I paid 150 for this one. It's full of Talbot's clothing. I don't know. It might be worth it on eBay. We'll find out. Uh, next is this one. I can't believe I got this one for 125. There's a whole bunch of tablets on here. They're all, you know, like off-brand tablets, but 125 bucks, a bunch of tablets. There's some toner. It looks to be mostly, I think this might be brand name Xerox. And then more electronics and stuff down here. All right, I got this one for 25 bucks. Looks like a bunch of random little odds and ends. I think this is a good one for 25. And then I got number 40, this one right here cost me 75 bucks and I don't know what I was specifically looking at on this one um, kind of a mystery palette right next to it I spent $50 on palette number 42 here we got some K&N filters we've got a bunch of snacks there's a vanity which actually looks like it might be in decent shape that might be sellable um, some paper goods over here and then pallet number 48. I got two brand new Bosch dishwire, dishwashers. Cost me 275. And we move on to number 58, which is right here. I spent 150 bucks on this. We got some LOL toys. We got some of these B dot toys. I think this will be a good one. I may end up saving it for Christmas. I haven't decided yet. Now over here, I spent 75 bucks on this pallet of salt. Someone bid me up on it, and I think that the downside of people knowing what I'm gonna buy, when I bid 25 on this, someone bid 50 knowing I would bid again. So, spent se still 75 bucks is a really good deal on this. 76, this is a whole bunch of cabinet hardware. I tend to do well with cabinet hardware on eBay, and I see some of it's Kohler, so that's pretty exciting. 78, I spent, oh, I spent 50 bucks on that. I spent 50 on this one, uh, a bunch of office supplies. I don't even know. Looks like some cleaning supplies with it. I think that was worthwhile for 50 bucks. 85, I spent 175 bucks on this one. There's a Keurig, some shoes, purses, an office chair, and the rest, I have no idea. We will find out when we get to the warehouse. And then number 86 right here, I spent 50 bucks on it. We've got a, what is that? Chicago Blackhawk scooter and stuff i don't know what else oh i think most of this is masks that's fun paper towels. some paper towels up here some sos pads i'll make my money back but everything from here down is probably going to be just given away for free number 95 i spent 25 bucks on this it's a pallet full of this uh, granola gluten-free vanilla almond agave We'll probably sell it by the case because it only cost me 25 bucks and it came with some free water. Uh, 95 is the one that I just showed. 109 is next. 109 is the Hershey's syrup here. It says 432 bottles, cost me 275 bucks. It's about 50 cents per bottle. All right, next I spent 150 bucks on these two bikes. They look like they're in pretty nice shape. Well, maybe. The brake line's cut on this one. We'll make them work. 150 bucks for both of them. Uh, 512. I spent 50 bucks. It's four of these like golfing or pitching nets. Golf practicing net. Actually, yeah, four of them for 50 bucks. So my cost is 12.50 each. I'm sure I can get like 50 bucks a piece for them. I spent 75 on this old sheet metal punch. I don't know what it's worth. I feel like it's worth more than 75 bucks though. I was really surprised I got this pallet for only 25 bucks. It's these bamboo tub caddies. It looks like it's probably one per box, but last time I was here, these went really high. So 25 bucks for those, I'm excited about that. So I spent 200 on this pallet of apparel, a lot of winter coats, and this came with it. This one came with it. They didn't have any bids, so I got this one for free. Maybe there's something good in here. I don't know. 
uh, but I bought it for this one, 200. And then 536, I paid, where is it? Right here, I paid 50 bucks for this pallet. Um, I don't know, it looks like we got some door hardware and miscellaneous stuff, I think we'll do all right. 539, I spent 300 bucks on these DVDs, mostly because I have a problem with buying DVDs for myself. And I'll sell the ones that I don't already have, but it's two layers, should be, I don't know, thousand DVDs in here. All right, so I spent 225 bucks on this one. It's full of laundry soap on top here. That's laundry soap. This is uh, something else. Damp red. We got some boxes. We got some bigger stuff down there. I don't know. I feel like this was worth a good loss leader at the very least to bring people in. I spent 125 on this. It's all dog toys. <laughs> Limit two toilet paper. I like that. So a whole bunch of dog toys here. One twenty-five. Uh, let's see. This one I spent seventy-five bucks on. This is one of those stand-up. It's like a shower that goes the whole height. So you have like a spa in your house. I don't know if this is part of it. No, it's two of them. And then who knows what else is under here? Uh, this looks like it could be fancy hoverboard. I don't know. What did I say? I spent seventy-five bucks on this. I got these two, 125 and 225. The big draw on me for these is they're all on hangers. I can hang them right up, nice and easy. Uh, let's see, this one, these are all robot vacuums. They're this thing. So I feel like there's some value there. We've got some disinfecting wipes. We've got some marinara sauce, some wood pallets, uh, a whole bunch of different stuff. I spent 175 bucks for it. This one I spent, 50 bucks. It's got like some video games. So this thing works. Some sort of cleaning thing, I guess. I don't know. Toys, video game accessories. You see some games. Whole bunch of different stuff here. Um, and this one. Let's see. Where am I? So that was 50. This one I spent a hundred and no, I lost my spot. 375 bucks. It's a whole bunch of these car ju jump starters for your car. It's, well, this one isn't charged up, but you would plug it into your cigarette lighter and it jumps your car. You can charge your phone. It's got a flashlight. These are usually like 50 to 100 bucks. I couldn't find this specific one, but 375, just look at how many of these I've got. I don't think I can go wrong there. There should be another one over here somewhere. Oh, there, it's 559. Um, I paid 50 bucks for this one. Um, these look pretty nice. I mean, I feel like I can get five, 10 bucks a piece for these. And there's more than 10 of them here. So, and then we got vacuum parts. We've got a radio here, home improvement. Oh no, almost lost my pen. So 50 bucks for that one. This one cost me 175. It's Black Rifle Coffee. I think this will, is a good following on that. I think I'll do really well with it. And I'm pretty sure it's in date too. All right, I spent 75 bucks on these coffee grinders. People are nice enough to open a couple of them for me, but the rest of them are all new. Uh, 578. Where is that? Is that this one? I think that's this one. I have no idea what it is. It's just stuff. There you go, 578. This one's going to be a bit of a mystery. I don't know if this is industrial. Home improvement. I have no idea. Um, toilets. Okay, so we got toilets, we got some other stuff, so probably all home improvement. Now we get to the expensive gambles. I spent 950 bucks on these two slicers. This one is a Hobart. This one is Bizerber. I can't, I don't recognize that brand. Um, told it works. They work. 950. I'm going to try my hand on eBay for those. I think these are all hoods, like for a barbecue. I'm not sure. They retail $8.50 each. I spent $1,050 on all of them. Then we've got a whole bunch of grill covers here on the front as well. Uh, so that was another big gamble. I spent $375 on this. I have no idea what it is. Um, there's not really any information on it. I have no clue, but I'm thinking 375 is probably a pretty good price on it. 
Next, another big gamble was this one. Hold on, I think it was 1,050. I'm told these are all brand new, although this one doesn't really look like it, but we have Ford on here. I don't know cars, it's transmissions. I'm gonna give these a shot at auction and see how they do. This is Caterpillar. So we might have some really good value on here. Next, I got this pallet of glue. I already put them inside. Well, a whole bunch of like Elmer's school glue. There we go. Right there, a whole pallet of them. We'll probably sell them by these inner cases. What did I spend? I think 125. 125 bucks on this. I spent only 25 bucks on this printer. I think this is gonna be a big home run. I bet I could sell this for a thousand dollars. That was a good score at 25 bucks. I spent 75 on these John Deere. I don't know if this is John Deere. Yeah, it is. Uh, they're snowblower attachments. It's just two of them, and they don't—they're missing pretty much all the like the auger and everything. But I think this is a good. At 75 bucks, I could probably turn that into four or five hundred bucks. Right here, I spent 125 bucks on this palette. It's like socks, underwear, nicer stuff, some brand names, some license. There's like scarves and gloves. Most of this, this is Jurassic World. Where is it? Right there. Most of this is probably gonna sit until next year, next winter. I think this is the next one. Yes, I spent a hundred bucks on it. It's a bunch of Glade air fresheners and a whole bunch of this wet and wild makeup here. Glade, more Glades, some toilet brushes. I think I, there were a few pallets like this and they went a, like four or five hundred bucks. I think I stole this one. 207 was this one. We got some uh, foot insoles, health and beauty, eyelashes. I spent 75 bucks on that. 209 is this one. I spent 175 and those pregnancy tests, tests are in date. So we'll probably put those on eBay. This is probably the one that I'm most excited about. Each one of these cardboard things, there are screen protectors for monitors. Most of them are like 50 to 75 bucks each online. I spent 25 bucks on this pallet. So someone didn't want this stuff from his pallet, so I'm taking it for free. Magnolia paint, kills, looks like some grocery. Yeah, this is a good one for free. So I'm missing 233, which I think was this one. I'm gonna have to go, I spent 50 bucks on it. I'll have to go figure out what the deal is with that. No, never mind. right here, 233. 50 bucks, looks like some office supplies, electronics. I figured that was a good $50 purchase. 248 is next, which is going to be, that's 246, 248 right here. Uh, I spent 25 bucks on this. This is tubing, flexible spa tubing. That's gotta be worth something. I just sold a bunch of packs for a lot of money. I feel like 25 bucks, I'll find a diamond in the rough there. 253. I bought this one for, hold on, I lost my spot. 75 bucks. Again, full of clothing on hangers. Uh, I think that should do well. It's probably going to be a lot more clothing for like fall though. Nope, not that one. There's 258. 257 should be around here somewhere. Um, that's 252. They get moved around a lot when people are digging through here. I'm pretty sure that's, that might be 267. Is this? No, this is a 257 health and beauty stuff. Bunch of Revlon, a uh, whole bunch of different stuff in here. And this one cost me 50 bucks. All right, last few, 250, I spent 25 bucks on this. I saw HP here. This is actually just paper, but maybe there's some other good office stuff in here it was only 25 bucks worst case um there's there i'll get 25 bucks for that paper by itself um and then number 262 is over here i spent 25 bucks on this all ice melt and de-icer um this again is going to sit this is a very heavy pallet this is going to sit until next year um but it's going to do real this was a heck of a deal at 25 bucks 325 i spent on this one shopping bags they're piggly wiggly bags but i spend on a case like this it's a thousand bags how many are in here um i don't see a total here well i buy a thousand bags oh here's 1704 bags it cost me 20 bucks so this would probably cost me like 35 bucks and i got a whole pallet of them here so this will be our bags for a while 
save some money there 268 is next right here um this i think is a bottle filler and if it is it's a couple hundred bucks i spent whatever, 75 dollars on this palette and then underneath it is plumbing bath type fixtures uh, getting towards the end here 272 was this one i have no idea what this black and decker thing is smart stand uh, but i spent 75 bucks on this palette we got some gazing globes and other odds and ends on there and then lastly i spent up one more i spent 525 bucks this is all kohler and delta stuff i think this will do really well online um i was excited about this one so that is everything that i got in this auction looks like they spilled some of my salt that's like two bags worth on the floor i still got it super cheap i'm not too worried this is not a bottle filler it's a little sink i don't think it's anything that i would have a use for so sell it for 10 20 bucks i also did some thrifting while i was here when we filled up the car so i'm loading that onto one of the pallets because obviously that's not going to fit in my carry-on for the flight home so i know it looks hot out it's like 140 degrees 300 percent humidity at least that's what it feels like we may not make it home tonight because they're currently in the middle of a 12 inch like a named thing it's winter storm cora or something 12 inches of snow 40 to 50 mile an hour winds i don't know if our flight's gonna go off tonight which would really suck because i have to close an auction tonight we've got auction pickup tomorrow that could maybe be moved it's not ideal but also we're flying we're going on vacation on friday so as it stands now we're gonna be home to uh wednesday and thursday if we have to wait till tomorrow we might only be home a day before we go on vacation i don't like taking that much time off of work so hopefully the flight's able to go tonight we're not stuck in atlanta another night someone left a whole bunch of trash here and the truck needs to get in there so i'm cleaning it up oh it's gonna be fun watching him get around through here and having to back in on the other side of this truck So this one didn't sell. It's all greeting cards. They're giving it to me. So that makes 58. I figure I can just throw the boxes out on the sales floor and do like three for a buck. That's cheaper than Dollar Tree. I think we'll sell 40 or 50 dollars worth. I'll take it for free. There's room on the truck. We're gonna fit it all. All right, so this is everything. They said there's room for one more, so they're gonna find me one to put on here. Looks like they're giving me a pallet of wipes. Now we're all filled up. So this one they gave me, looks like it's individual packages. And I'll probably sell them five bucks a box or something. We got four, but it's just 12, 36 cases at five bucks. That's 170, 180 bucks, something like that. And they are heading to Green Bay. And I'll be right behind slash ahead of him. All right, now we're gonna get some steak and shake and head to the airport and hopefully our flight goes off. I'm wearing shorts and I wanna be in a foot of snow in shorts. That'll be fun. And uh, also I'm really sweaty. I feel bad for the people that need to sit around me on the flight. No updates on the flight yet, but it started snowing. There's already been an inch of snow in Green Bay. And um, now they're saying 15 inches of snow. But we have a question. We do? Yeah. Okay. We've been debating. How much money would the flight and an airline save in like fuel if everybody on the flight pooped before they got on the plane? Look, I told you, don't make this idea public or spirit or the other one is going to take it. 
Well, they can pay me for it by making it public. Now I have evidence that I've come up with this idea. But I mean, if you get 300 people on a flight, that's gotta be like 150, 200 pounds. That's gotta make some sort of difference. That's like five carry-on bags. So I'm paying attention here. This is flights coming into Green Bay, where this last one here. They keep getting canceled. I am losing hope that we're leaving tonight. And Minneapolis just canceled. still showing us in Detroit. It's not showing it here, but we got a 10 minute delay here in Atlanta. This is Green Bay's arrivals, so I don't think 10 minutes will be reflected on here. And delayed until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Weird, this Detroit flight is still scheduled. So we're at our hotel, and I don't understand the purpose of this wall. What does it do? It's just here. Any ideas? seems I don't get it we're back at the airport according to the weather Green Bay got 14 inches of snow there's another five and a quarter coming it's still snowing so we'll see if this flight happens also it's really windy here so Christiana likes to stay and get her rush to get to the gate as quickly as possible I like to enjoy outside and walk in as late as possible she messaged me we parted ways and I hung out outside for a little bit. And she messaged me telling me that there's a really long line for security. She said, not as long as sometimes, but much longer than normal. <laughs> I said, I'm already through security. There was no line. I think we went to two different places. You need it, ATL's got it. No matter your preference. So I'm basically at the gate. She's still in line. So the flight's boarding. She's still not here yet, but there's still plenty of time. And I'm told the snow is picking up really bad again up in Green Bay, so hopefully we don't get rerouted to like Milwaukee or something. She made it. Orxy of Neville Pubic Museum. If you don't live here, that word is actually spelled wrong. It should be Neville. Our airport has yard games. <sighs> well, we got back to a big water leak here. I think these two pallets, which are all bedding, drenched. Those are probably going to go in the dumpster. This, thankfully, it missed the product, but it gets worse. In the office here, we've got a leak. Thankfully, it's not leaking on my stuff, but in here, it's actively dripping. We're all soaked here. Uh, it's dripping, I don't know if that came up on camera, but there's, yeah, this is in my office. Oh, found another one. Is the merchandise okay? It doesn't look like this thing. Actually, this looks fine too. You know what? I think this is probably this one i think <coughs> i think is dripping here and flowing underneath there yeah there's quite a bit of water here look at this the merchandise does look okay it's just these two pallets i'm really angry right now this is absolutely ridiculous this is a brand new roof so i get it's not the landlord's fault entirely he waited way too long to get a new roof but this is a brand new roof this should not be happening. You go to any other business, you don't see roof leaks every month. They're not, I don't, I told, I walked in the landlord's office, his assistant was there and she could see that I was upset. And she said, I know. And I said, I don't care if he needs to tear it all off and get a new roof. There's absolutely no reason why my rent should be going up and I should be losing inventory every couple, every month or so because of roof leaks. Now it's all over my desk. I looked, my desk is damaged. It's got that bubbling from the water getting into the wood the wood press board 
There's nothing I can do about that. So if I, I have to either live with it or go and spend $2,000 on a new desk. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm done dealing with it. Like, look at this. This is like 20% of this entire warehouse room. This is ridiculous.